Offutt Air Force Base in Omaha is still recovering from last week's flooding in Nebraska. A third of the base was covered in water even after crews used nearly a quarter of a million sandbags and hundreds of flood barriers to try and protect the military installation. Well, now the South Dakota Air National Guard in Sioux Falls is on alert, making similar preparations for next week's anticipated flooding here. Crews at the South Dakota Air National Guard base have been stockpiling sandbags for the past few days, taking extra precautionary measures to protect millions of dollars in assets and property in case the flood would hit them. While the base is still operational, military officials say they have moved their F-16 fighter jets to an alternate airfield and pre-staged other equipment in case they're called upon to assist in the flood efforts. Throughout the entire length of that runway, we have um, lights on the edge. Director of the Sioux Falls Regional Airport, Dan Lettler, isn't too worried just yet. But if it floods, he says, protecting the airfield lighting, sanitary sewer system, and other infrastructure around the terminal will be key. We have a plan in place, so we're preparing um, how we protect those assets. We have a lot of that material, barricades, that type of thing. Uh, staged by those uh, assets if we need to set up barricades and protect those assets. The airport is protected by the levee system on the west and east sides. With the flood projections now lower than first anticipated, Lettler says that the flood water would have to breach the levee system to have any impact on the airport. You know, the Corps of Engineers has been out. They've inspected the levee system all throughout the city, and so we have a high level of confidence that will be in place. The South Dakota National Guard says it's been contacted by the governor to be ready to help in the flood efforts. To see how we posted a statement and possible missions of what they would be doing under this story at coverland.com.